Would you prefer to be in a dodgeball tournament, a giant food fight, or tug of war? Whatever you chose, I'm sure you wouldn't want to feel left out. It feels sad to be left out of a group or a team whenever you're supposed to be participating. In the Bible, there's various leaders who always made sure to include everybody in whatever they were doing. A big example of this was Jesus. He always made sure to include everybody even if they had to do something small. Today, we're going to learn about a leader who was very similar. His name was Nehemiah. Nehemiah lived in a city called Babylon. There, he worked for a king. Where did he live? Yes, Babylon. And one day, he was just, you know, doing his work, doing his job and stuff. And then a man came to him and he said, Nehemiah, I have some really important news. Nehemiah was like, who is this man? What is going on? So he was like, go on, what, what's your important news? The man said that the walls that protected the city of Jerusalem all fell. They all fell down and they got destroyed. Nehemiah got really sad. He was worried because in Jerusalem, that's where he grew up and that's where he was born and his family was there. He loved the city. He knew that he had to do something to help them. So he goes and he asked his boss, the king, if he could go back to Jerusalem and help them build up the city. And the king said yes. So Nehemiah got up and he went, he packed his stuff and he was ready to help them. When Nehemiah got there, he saw that the wall was too much work for him to do by himself. He knew he needed help. So he gathered people from the city and told them to help him. They each had a separate task and each worked together as a team. Since it was such a big team and they were all helping each other doing little tasks, no matter how big, no matter how small, the wall got built up much faster. Nehemiah knew that doing it as a team was better than doing it by himself. He always made sure to include everybody around him no matter what they were doing. During this series, we're memorizing a verse that helps us to remember that we're never too young to start being leaders. Let's practice it together. Don't let anyone make fun of you just because you are young. Set an example by what you say and what you do. This verse can be found in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Good job! Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much for iKids and the kids. I thank you for being so good and so loving to us, God. I pray for every family that's watching and every kid, God, that you protect them and you help them in anything, God. Let them remember that they're never too young to start being leaders. We love you and we praise you and we leave everything in your hands. And amen. Bye.